Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be live reacting to One Piece chapter 1023 titled Two Piece in the Pods. I'm right here in the color spread. Uh, this is going to be part of the celebrating the top 50, right? If I'm correct, there's going to be three color spreads in the first one. Uh, it's nice, uh, looks really nice. You know, we got Kylo and Big Bomb in the corners. Uh, Olala, he loves to do this. He, he loves to put the like the Yonkos in the background. And like in some color spreads, I think in volume covers also. Uh, it's nice to see like the big, the whole Cake Island characters close to Big Mom, the Wano characters close to Kaido. Uh, that's really nice to see. Uh, it's really cool seeing everyone interact with each other, even the you know the characters who are supposed to be dead in the series. Um, it looks like Yamato is going to attack Kalakuri. Same thing with Karasun. And then Bartolomeo, he's in his barrier. Kuma, I don't know what he's going to do. But it looks like he's summoning like a, a wrestle shock or whatever. Or something huge. Uh, Perona, she's there. You know, she looks really nice. Um, Moria, he's there. He's just in the background. It looks like someone is kicking Don Flamingo. And he blocked the attack. Uh, Ball Hancock doing her thing. Mihawk, he's preparing a swing. So I'm assuming, since this is going to be um, three spreads, that you could like combine them. Assuming in the last spread, we're going to see Shanks and maybe Blackbeard. I don't know who was in the top 50. I, I'm, I'm assuming Blackbeard was in the top 50. Also, pretty sure Whitebeard was also. But he's probably going to, you know, the active Yonkos in the in the corner. And that would be really nice to see, you know. So, let's go to the color page request. Um, it says here, Kairo gets jealous of a flock of sparrows singing with BB. Okay. <laughs> um, nothing, I guess, right now I don't see anything important. So, in the color page request, uh, it's really nice to see BB, you know. But okay, so let's continue. Also, wait, well, before my predictions, um, two pieces in the pod. So I'm guessing it's gonna be uh, you know, Zoro. We're gonna continue with the Zoro and uh, Sanji versus King Queen. Um, I don't read spoilers, but you know, some people I follow on Twitter, you know, they they hint, they give hints. You know, I don't like that, but uh, you know, it's, it is what it is. So someone said that the Zoro fanboys, um, they're hype, but the, the person is confused because the person is just confused why they're hype. And then the person also mentioned Momo. So are we going to get a dull Momo in this chapter? You know, it will be, for me, it will be hilarious and hype if, uh, I, you know, it just it will not make sense if Momo becomes strong. But I'll find it hilarious and hype if he does become strong, like a dog gun, you know, that would be, that would be hilarious. And then, like a dog Momo, he looks like Olden, so when Kaido sees him, he gets, um, that he, he gets shook in his core, because, you know, um, Olden get, did get him the scar, so, um, but yeah, I guess that's my prediction then. Uh, Momo, something about Momo, maybe we're gonna see a dog Momo. And uh, Azoro and Sanji chapter because of the title and uh, because of what people say on Twitter. So let's let's go to the first page then. It says here, so Juro was back in action. Go get us on Goro, standing shoulder to shoulder. And then uh, yeah, okay, that's the first panel. Really nice seeing yeah seeing them together. Um, Chopper says it really did it really did heal him. I'm afraid to think about what will happen after, though. And then the Beast Pirates and King Queen, you know, they're yelling. Yeah, okay. Well, they, you know, they, uh, I know they're going to stand up, but, you know, they they fell. And then the uh, random Beast Pirate. How dare you to attack the All-Stars? And then <laughs> Kawamatsu, he, he quickly, light work, drop it. Uh, Zoro could, could block and dodge that, though. But, no, it's nice uh, seeing Kawamatsu. Uh, nicely done, Kawamatsu. Everyone, listen up. Oh yeah, I completely forgot he. <laughs> I just stopped because I completely forgot that Hero Goro he's alive. But anyway, nicely done, Kawamatsu. Everyone, listen up. We can't let you, we can't let anyone interfere with their duel. But boss, they're up against the All Stars. 
doesn't matter if you're friend or foe. There's no place for meddling in that fight. Yeah, that's true. Uh, only only they could take uh, the Kalame as well. Also Marco, but you know he's um, he tapped out. You know now it's their turn. Just look just look at the expressions on their face. We sh we will only get in their way. So Marco, he's remembering something. I thought only Mary Jo's was above the red line. Joy, I'm talking about the distant past. Back then, God's land was up there. Really, okay, interesting. So this is something that Whitebeard told Marco. Maybe like in you know in his youth. Well, no, Whitebeard looks pretty old here. So so this is something that Whitebeard told Marco at one point. So he's thinking about probably King's race. So so yeah. Uh, you know, people mentioned uh, also mentioned uh, in the last re live reaction that um, maybe you know the celestial dragons, all those people, the world nobles, they um, eliminate King's race because they were living there and they wanted to live there since you know it's the highest uh, spot in, in the planet. So and that's why King's race uh, is really hard to find. Also, but there could be the king race, uh, king's race that could be living somewhere else in the red line, because the red line is like a huge um, continent, so they could be living in the other side. And the 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 few that are still alive. <laughs> uh, Marco says, "When do you start believing such crap, pops?" Wake up, Marco. Um, that's Isa. So, if I'm seeing this correctly, yeah, Isa grab Marco. Yeah. Okay. So he was like daydreaming. Okay. So he's a grab Marco. What's with you? How can you space out in a battlefield? Hehe. <laughs> well, I knew you had my back. Oh, shut up. Say, so do you believe in God? You started to sound like Pops did when he was drunk. Hmm. <laughs> so okay. Maybe yeah. When he was drunk, he started like um talking about stuff that he knows. You know, maybe stuff that Roger told him. Uh, st stuff that he heard maybe during the uh, rocks era so okay that's pretty that's pretty funny though so we're going back to king queen with uh, sanji and zoro yo if you want to take us down you are gonna have to put your backs into it that didn't even hurt a bit the drought the plague and the wildfire the three of us are kaido sans Calam calamities yeah okay our unstoppable toughness is why they call us all stars yeah they are you know they are ancient zones so they heal faster they're way stronger durable very very durable so um sanji has to put the rain suit you know but sanji has to put the rain suit and zoro he's a little bit nerfed but he the you know he just got off the rooftop with kaido so i'm pretty sure with the help of sanji uh, they could defeat them together also, I don't think it's gonna be a uh, uh, a usual one v one. You know, it, it makes more sense. It's like a two v two. You know, them helping each other out and all that. So Zoro says, "What's wrong? Nothing. It's just since my second time using the race suit, I've been feeling kind of off. So it looks like there's drawbacks with the race suit. Um, maybe or maybe Sanji. Um, like emotionally speaking, maybe." It's not like a physical drawback, but more like an emotional one, you know, since it's uh, Germa tech and, you know, Sanji doesn't like the Germa. But then Zoro says, um, let's continue. You're not going to slow me down, are you? I says nothing. My body just feels a little odd. Hmm. Interesting. What you what you do have weird eyebrows. <laughs> my body, not my face, though, first. OK, and then oh, King took out his sword. You owe me one. Well, that's really interesting. This um, it looks like there's a drawback. It would be nice if it was like an emotional one, but Sanji he is um, saying that his body feels weird. Okay. I wonder if Sanji, he if he's ever going to use the new Kama techniques. He must have learned them. And if he hasn't used them, then he's really nerfing himself throughout the new world. But I wonder if he's going to whip them out here during this fight, the new combat techniques. But let's continue. Um, Bridal Claw and then uh, Sanji, okay. No, Zoro actually, I mean. Okay, so Zoro was going to do something, but then Sanji, 
He blocked. Now we're even. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then Queen says, I remember now all of just brass are enhanced. That bastard is crazy. That burning leg of yours is some kind of augmentation, right? It says here, um, translator note, the Furiana uses the word cyborg. The Kanji still uses mollify human. Okay. And then, um, hey, to break it to you, but I'm regular human, unlike my siblings. Are you stupid? What kind of human can burn burst into flames? It's not like you're a uh, Lunurian. Ah, is it? Ah, is this um? Uh, this uh King's race. I haven't I haven't gone to the next panel. Lunurian. Okay, interesting. Someone did mention that would be cool. You know, since Germa, they could casually go over the red line. So maybe they got like DNA of the King's race. And that's why Sanji could burst. So maybe the reason why the Germa kids, the Germa siblings, they have like elemental abilities is because um, Judge, he got like DNA from every, like some races that could control the elements. So um, like the minks, you know, they have Electro. So uh, I think it's Nijiji, right? Nijiji is the electric one. So, you know, that's why one of them has electrical abilities. That's why Sanji has fire abilities because of King's race. But now, I'm guessing we got a name now for the race. So next panel, yeah, we see King dot dot dot. So maybe that that's his race. Well, Sanji says, it's possible because my passion burn, hot, <laughs> burn hotter than any real flame over ever could. Yeah, this is what, uh, Sanji, this is what Sanji said in um, Baratier. You know, the reason... Well, I fired this in her sense because his, his passion burns hotter than fire. Yeah, I think that's what Oda said in the SBS also. That That's why Sanji doesn't uh, get hurt when he does Diablo Jumbo and all that. But, uh, you know, that's, this is basically an anime explanation. But it says here, cooking up sea beasts is my specialty, you dino, dino bastard. I'll show you how devastating my cybernetic enhancement can be. They're so advanced, even Vegapunk can match them. Cap. You know what you're saying now? Cap. So, looks like, um, you know, stop the cap. Uh, so, Sanji, he's like spinning around. It's really cool. Really loving this. And then King, I mean Queen, he black with, uh, with his um, arm. It looks like there's hockey, so that's nice. You know? Like, obviously, they had hockey, but we haven't seen them use it throughout the fight. So, it's really nice to see. And then, yeah, her turns like a fire. It's really cool. Really cool panel. And then, now we're in, now we're going back to Zoro and King. Don't get distracted, you black mummy. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, so something happened. I don't know what happened. Because that blade... What just happened? Like Zoro Swords got stuck in um, King's Blade. Oh, okay, so there's like, okay, so there's like tiny segments. For what I'm seeing here, there's like segments, and Zoro Swords probably got stuck in those segments. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what happened. Yeah. A king, he he just punched Zoro in the face. Or, you know, around that area. Okay. It's not looking good for Sorrel. But, you know, he is he is nerf. But, still, not looking good. Still is a really nice panel, though. Oh, no, he blocked it. He blocked it. Okay. I thought, he, I thought, it was, I thought he got hit. I get it. You're just a bloodthirsty brute. I never understood why anyone would stick to traditional forms and techniques in a real, ba in a real battle. Yeah, I guess you have a point. You never claim to be a swordsman after all. <laughs> okay. Have it your way. Just remember when it comes down to it, I might be willing to bite through your throat too. I can't afford to lose either. I, I, can't, lose, can't, I can't afford to lose here. Okay, it's funny. You know, people are like, ah, uh, King, he's not a swordsman or whatever. Or there's no reason for Zoro to fight King. And blah blah blah, you know, the, those are all fanboys. So, here, like, uh, it's funny, you know, in text, you never claim to be a swordsman after all. So, okay, I guess there, there was really never a reason for, I guess it's like 
confirming this really wasn't a reason for Zoro to fight King. But of course, people who who actually read the story, we know that Zoro he always fights the you know the first commander, the the first mate. So this fight was always going to happen. But I just find it hilarious, you know. Zoro said himself, you know, you never claim to be a swordsman, so. So he's not going, he's not solely going to be using sword techniques and all that. Which also we, we've been new since, um, the, because, um, wasn't King's introduction, the first thing he does is a kick against the Big Mama Chanter. So, so yeah, we've been new that King, he, he has other ways to, uh, other fine style. So, so yeah, so we go back to Kawamatsu Basio Goro when Hiyori Sama offered that man Emma. There was a reason I didn't protest too hard. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I got, I think I saw this on Twitter. Well, I passed by really quickly, you know, to avoid to avoid spoilers, but I think I saw this on Twitter, right? I see it too. It's peculiar. He may be a foreign, a foreign pirate. But he reminds me so much of the former daimyo of Ringo when he was young. He and Shimosuke Oshimaru are like two peas in the pod. Right right down to their sword handling is uncanny. Mm, interesting. Even even how they use the sword. Okay, that's really interesting. But yeah, okay, Shimosuke, Zoro, uh, all that. At least that's what the Zoro fanboys want. Uh, I don't. I don't mind, you know. Makes sense that Zoro he's related to at least someone in Wano. I think that makes sense. You know, it's just the Zoro fanboys are very annoying about it. The like, oh, Shimuzuki Zoro, blah blah blah. But anyway, let's continue. Ushimaru Sama was a fantastic swordman, a direct descendant of the god of the blade, Shimuzuki Ryoma. Yeah, we we know that. And this young and this young man was the one to finally return Shusui to Wano. It must be fate or something. After all, Ryuma was a one-eyed samurai. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Okay, that's really nice. Really nice. Um, I'm not complaining. You know, people have been theorizing this uh, for a very long time. That Zoro, he's related to Ryuma. Yeah, so, Shimuzuki Zoro. But it's really cool. You know, this this basically this basically confirms it. You know, not one hundred percent, but 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 yeah. Um, probably gonna have a like after one, like a quick conversation about this again. Maybe with he he Tetsu or whatever. You know, to to finally one hundred percent confirm that yeah, Zoro he's um related to Ryuma. So it's really cool. I like this panel of Ryuma over here in the corner. Uh, do do we do we do we ever knew that Ryuma was a one eye swordsman, a one eye samurai? I don't think so, because if we if we didn't, then people would be like, nah, it's one hundred percent confirmed. Like there, there's no way, you know. Like all the evidence are there, you know. But it's the f- if this is the first time we hear this, then that's really nice, uh, because uh, I don't remember Ryuma being no, uh, you know. Because I know Ryuma shows up in Wanted. And then through the work. I'm like thinking back to through the work. Like the Ryuma had the other eye closed. But uh, it's whatever. This is a really nice panel. Um, but you know, by the way, there's a really nice panel of um, King and Queen. Cla- I mean, Zoro and King clashing. Really, really nice. And then we cut to... Second floor, treasure repository. We got to back up Jackson. <laughs> We're not gonna let that happen. Um, oh, he's in hybrid. Okay, that's really cool, right? Looks like hi- yeah, he's in hybrid. Honestly, this this looks uh, this looks really nice. His hybrid, you know. I like it. You know, looks really cool. Um, you must be getting tired. I'll put you to sleep forever, Duke of the Day. There's no need to draw this out. I've already forgiven you for lying to me about the samurai. Your country's already paid the price for sheltering him. And then, you know, Arashi, he's panning. Pan, pan. We won't have been able to live with ourselves. 
if we saw Rizo out and Pan Pan. So he's going to attack, I'm assuming. Like he's ready to block at least. No, he grabs him by the trunk. It would have made it impossible for us to come back to Wano. Everything we went through. He just threw Jack across the room. That's really cool. Uh, since the day Olden Sama left us was to get to this point. Okay. I swear to God, I don't know this Rizo. If he's here, I'll slice up open my own stomach. <laughs> Is Jack about to slice open his stomach? That would be really nice. Honestly. You know, I would like to see that. Like a little foreshadowing right here. Maybe. The flags, you know. So now they're in a different area. Uh, there's uh, there's more space here. Since that day, 20 years ago, we tormented, we tormented ourselves with the same questions. Why are things different now? Are things different now? Do we still have the right to claim to be old and samurai? How? How are you in your Sulong form? A hole in the roof. Ashura. Uh, okay. Ah, so this is where... Okay. Yeah. We endure a lot to reach this decisive battle. Our millennia old city was raised to the ground. But the dawn of the world is finally upon us. We don't care if we have to lay down our lives to usher it in. Okay, so he's in Sulon. Assuming this is going to be a quick wash right now. But, you know, uh, Eno, he's one of the ones that are theorized to die. So maybe it's going to be a draw, the fight. Wish I wouldn't mind that, you know. But let's continue. Let's see what happens. Ah, we cut away. Okay, Skull Dome, front entrance. Without Pedro, Luffy, and the others will never have made it here. The raid will fail for sure. Uh, Pedro Sparrow, now uh, Karasen. And then we have uh, Nekomamushi. He goes in Sulan also. Master Nekomamushi, the full moon is beautiful tonight. Pedro, just pour yourself a drink and wash. You Sulan form. This is the last moon you gotta will ever see. Big tongue. Okay, he's also in Sulan. Okay, so yeah, Pedro Sparrow, Pedro Sparrow, he's not strong enough to. Like, I'm pretty sure he's not strong enough to hang with a Sulong form. So, I think this is also going to be a quick wash. At least in this case, I'm pretty sure Nakamamushi, he's not going to get any damage. But, let's see, let's continue. Now, we're in the inside the castle second floor. Uh, okay, you ghosts are a joke. Odin is dead. And now you serve a glorified child. How dare you mock the young master. Everyone needs time to mature. Even us misfit eventually become samurai. Wano itself will shape Momonosuke Sama's growth. We won't let you take that hope away. Okay, they're talking a lot about maturity and Momo growing up. Let's see if we're going to see in this chapter. Oh, well, okay, we're in the Ulan Tokage port. One, why is he here? Why is Kaido here? Do we even stand a chance? The Kaido? Oh, okay. Okay. I just saw a glimpse of the next page. So yeah, I'm assuming Momo went to adult Momo. Yeah, because they're freaking out. Okay, so it's not Kaido, it's Momo. Let me see, let's see. Yeah, okay, yeah, this looks okay, this looks really cool. Straw hat get back is dangerous. Uh growl. I am not your snack. If you attempt to eat me, I will devour you whole. Brace yourself, Momo. That's right. Okay, okay, this looks, okay, this looks really cool. Okay. What the kid, what the kid that was just here, how in the world, I follow Momonosuke, Sama's orders, I aged him till he was 20 years old. Okay, so, yeah. and then she's also crying. Didn't know you could do that. Why are you crying though? Because Momonosuke Sama, you just, okay, you, you look just like Momo, let's go, take back Wano, yeah. Okay, okay, this is really cool. Okay, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Yeah, at first I was like against the idea. Oh, so that's the, yeah, that's the chapter. Okay, so at first I was uh, against the idea of Momo growing up. But at the same time, uh, all the this, uh, uh, I think it was in an interview or in a jump festa. You know, he said once, that it will be boring if Luffy defeated Kaido just with a punch. You know? Like, Kaido needs more than just that. So, um, I guess all those 
I guess you know he's like okay so let's make Momo into adult maybe that will like um traumatize um or not traumatize you know um activates Kaido's um PTSD with Olin and right here you know she knows she's crying because he he obviously looks just like Olin I see muscle in this um right here so um, he has the muscle but is he, is he physically strong you know that's the that's the question which honestly i won't mind i won't mind if he's physically strong um it makes sense if he doesn't know any techniques the, i think the only thing he knows is what Sora taught him uh what Sora was teaching him you know but i'm pretty sure Sora didn't have that much time to teach him like some crazy technique also my mom was a kid at that time so i guess Sora was just teaching him how to swing a sword you know but yeah that's the chapter Overall, it was a really good read, you know, um, getting updates. Uh, I'm guessing that was all they're going to do in these uh, couple of chapters, like little updates with the fights. Uh, it's been so long that we saw Jack and, you know, Ashi. My brother, he's a Jack fanboy, so, you know, mammoth boy. So he's going to love this chapter. He's going to say 10 out of 10, pick fiction, you know, all, all the all that jazz, you know. And honestly, I really like I really like um, Jack's hybrid. Uh, we haven't seen kings yet, but so far, Jack is my favorite from the calamities. You know, looks really nice. And then let's see what else. Am I missing anything? I don't think I'm missing anything. Um, I think that's all. I think that's all. I have nothing else to say really. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, hit the like if you liked it. Just like if you don't. And I'll see you next time.